Heyo, I'm Connie from From the Scene Photography, and welcome to our first video episode. We'll be doing weekly recaps from the calls we made, also a feature called In-House, where we visit different stations and do a small tour, interviews, and check out the trucks and tolls. We'll also be doing some behind-the-scenes videos of our gear and what we use to get our job done. Let's jump right into the first episode. Hey, welcome back. This video is for our Facebook page from the Scene Photography. Feel free to check us out. We're located about 20 miles north of Pittsburgh, PA, and we try to make as many calls as we can in Westmoreland, Allegheny, and Armstrong counties. Our first call was a kitchen fire in Arnold. Stations 95 1 and 2 from Arnold, 56 1 from New Kensington, and number 69 from Lower Borough and 78 Sardis were on scene. We had a 30 minute drive to get there, so we only got some shots of the overhaul. There were no injuries at the fire. Our next call took us to J Drive and Penn Hills. Crews from all six Penn Hills departments, 216 from Oakmont, 233 and 234 from Plum, 285 from Verona, and 196 from Monroeville fought to blaze in cold and snowy conditions for over an hour. This call happened on December 31st. Our next call was January 6th at 6.30 a.m. after a garbage truck with the garbage in the back on fire, dumped and burning garbage in an empty lot on Greensburg Road in Laurel Borough. Both Laurel Borough stations 54 and 69 as well as 115 from Upper Borough and Logan's Ferry Heights number 235 were there to douse the flames. On January 9th, a 224 a.m. structure fire in Murraysville was our next call. A woman was awakened by a house smoke detector and found the house's great room was on fire. A quick response by the departments and a long drive for us put us on scene as crews checked for extension and did overhaul. The units on scene was 78 Sardis, 64 White Valley, 20 Murraysville, 63 Claridge, 194 Monroeville 4, and 610 Murraysville Medic 1. We close out our first episode with a strange call in Springdale. A man intentionally drove his vehicle through his garage door, crashing into the back wall of his garage and keeping the accelerator pressed, filling the garage and house with smoke. As the police arrived, they tried to get the man out of the car, but the man refused. After police pulled him from the car, the man was charged with drunken and reckless driving, reckless endangerment, and risking and failure to prevent a catastrophe. Stations 273 from Springdale, 121 from Cheswick, and 134 from Maine Steer responded. That's all for our first episode. Please click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos and check us out on Facebook at From the Scene Photography. The link is in our About page. Thanks for all the fire departments for what you do and letting us do what we do. See you soon! Connie from from the now I'm trying to uh, <laughs> that's all folks